Hello, and welcome to a Breaking, Breaking It All Down Let's Play. I'm Count Zero. We're taking a look at Remember Me, which is a sort of transhumanist action um, adventure game. Third, uh, third person action game. Kind of brawlery, not much gunplay. We're playing on the PS3 this time. After our boat sank, I was the only refugee to reach the shore. I held my husband's hand until the very last second. I can still feel it, the nails of his fingers sticking into mine, you know? The first night he said to me, let's share our memories. I remember I was sort of afraid, but um, <laughs> and he smiled and we hit the switch together and then I felt everything. Wouldn't that be like a third or fourth I, date time, thing? I was I was living all of his love for me. It it felt so warm and so strong that it, it almost hurt. This sounds like you may have to rethink the base structure. Because what what base is that? So hot. Is it higher than sex? Straight stank of this awful smell of burning plastic. I walked with the other children across town until we were outside of Paris. No one fired. The war was over. I don't know if I'll ever find the courage to give these memories to my son. But I'm relieved to know that they are all safe and secure. Thanks to my sensen, I choose to remember every defining moment of my life. The good ones and the bad. Would you... Well, I mean, there is some sense. certain degree of... My husband lives on. Here. And here. Oh, it's, it's a decent advertisement for... Of course, for audio of introducing the product. So we have our prologue. This, can, this prologue is going to take up most of the episode. How much of this game takes almost is set almost entirely inside Paris? At least the part we I've played this far. Ooh, that's not good. This is kind of a downside of this. ooh. Memory wipe, huh? Post memory wipe. Send send awaiting new memory content. Good day. Can you hear me? Yes. What is your name? Melon. What year? <clears throat> what did you say? <clears throat> we have our protagonist. Damn. Now that's a first. <clears throat> Not to worry. We'll scrape away those last memories. What year is it? I, I don't know. It's 2084. Do you know where you are? <clears throat> no. Not so resistant after all. Thank you for your cooperation. So I believe this is in the prison of Le Bastille. I've currently played as far as part three, or chapter three of the game. Dr. Quaid. Yes. This subject is displaying some resistance. Complete the substitution protocols, then send her to me. I'll erase the last barriers myself. Yes, Doctor. So a game, so a game with a story about messing with memories, and one of the major characters is Quaid. That's that's not a reference at all. Certainly not to anything by Philip K. Dick. That might have been adapted to a major motion picture. That may or may not have starred on Schwarzenegger. Arnold. So I've been playing through partway through chapter three. I believe we are in the prison of Le Bastille. Yeah, this is all set in Neo Paris. Um. Good day. Raise your head, please. 
This is an interesting way of doing the control introduction here. I kind of like it. This isn't... This isn't interesting in new IP, and I'm glad to see that Capcom took a chance on this this late in the console cycle. Or at least this late in the uh, Xbox and PlayStation 3's lifespan. Also, anyway, this being Neil Bastille. Hang on. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't make it through yet. This being the, the Bastille, I do kind of wonder if you're wiping people's memories, how do you go through the normal rehabilitation process? Unless you're just completely changing their personality, except in some of the, the metafiction we get in dialogues during the game, which we'll show somewhat later that you get your memories back once you are released from the Bastille. So wouldn't that undermine the whole rehabilitation thing? Admittedly, this is a totalitarian police state, so expecting them... If we're expecting them to believe in real rehabilitation in a police state like this, kind of asking a bit much. to wipe your brain now. Don't let them do it. I need to create a diversion. Be ready to move when I say. Who are you? I'm the voice you have to listen to if you want to live. So come with you if you want to live. Got it. Got it. Don't leave me alone. Not sure we're going to get out too. That got their attention. Nilan, the large metal shutter is going to raise on your left. If you understood me, move your head. I'm linked to your sensei. I'll feel it. So... Oh, that, that's right. Left is over there. The door. Go under it. Now. I'm gonna raise just a little bit higher. I like a roll. I suppose they have to my way. I recall one of the artists from this got nominated for a Hugo Award for Best Professional Artist. I'll have to double check. Ooh, giant robot. Do I get to pilot that? Hmm, alright. So I can't drive it, so let's just kind of stroll our way out. Unattended patient in restricted area. Coercive unit deployed. Coercive unit, huh? Charming. Ooh, it even has a big, um, augmented reality in a uh, screaming mouth just freak you out. The passage on your right, take it. Into the garbage chute, flyboy. Girl. Get up. You've got to keep going. I'm sorry, but that probably kind of hurt. Any collectibles over here that I'm missing? Do I need stealth same play? Do I need to hide from these drones? I don't really see anything down there. Whoa. Where am I? You're almost there. 
Slide into a casket. Quickly. A casket? The uh, people are clearly some of them are still alive. That's wonderful. Please let this be a nightmare. I don't think you're so lucky. Nillen. So where am I getting sent to? Oh, I believe this game is also completely developed in France. Wow, um... No real major achievements there. At least just a... Milestone achievement. We're gonna get these quotes at the beginning of each of the chapters. Do I need to be putting an epilepsy warning on this video? Nilan, are you okay? No, I need to get out of here. Get me out of here now. Calm down. My name is Edge. You have to trust me, sis. I just did, bro, and now I am trapped in a coffin. <sighs> I must prepare you for what is waiting outside. The enemy is Memorize, a corporation that has digitized and commoditized memories. They call it Sen Sen Technology, and the world is addicted to it. You follow. And I will trust you because my memory is wiped. Hunter, Nilla, the best. Other hunters merely pillage memories, but you can remix them. And above all, you are an errorist, just like me. Why did they do this to me? You were a revolutionary fighter and my best agent. We all fought to assure that no firm might build a monopoly on all human memories. But I failed. We were rounded up and imprisoned. Oh, 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 this is all very interesting, but I really have to get out of this coffin now. The currents are going to take you to slum 404. Once you've landed, I'll tell you my plan. Currents? Am I going through the sewers of Paris? I should probably watch Les Mis so I can make some Les Mis jokes related to this game. Yeah, I just went through the sewers of Paris. Charming! That Johnny is going to come up a little later in the game. Oh boy, we don't just have one golem, we have a tribe of golems. Oh, brother. Alive? Now, fame's lost now. A new us, Fear. tears and grins. Lost. Look, lost. a new us. Pain is now. Dark Fear pain is lost now. I've been searching a long time now. So Morlocks, with a hive mind technology, hive mind thing going on, brought on by the Sensen. Interesting. Oh hi, how you doing? Tears and grins. Sister? Meet. How about friend? Ooh. 
So we're about to wrap up this, this episode, and next time we will start off with our combat tutorial. I'll see you then.